Mario? Sounds good, Sarah. Thank you. The search right now is on this morning for the gunman who shot another man 12 times. Nine on your side, reporter Shannon Kettler, live at UC Medical Center with what we're learning about the victim's condition. That's right, Mario. You know, it's pretty staggering when you hear it. The police sergeant telling me this victim again shot 12 times. The majority of those wounds, I'm told, are in his extremities. This began, police tell me, as a domestic dispute between a boyfriend and a girlfriend at the VIP lounge around 2.30 this morning. That bar is located on Reading Road near Martin Luther King. Police say the argument then spilled out into Reading Road, and that's where the victim was shot again multiple times. The description of the shooter is very generic. He was last seen running away on foot. Investigators spent the overnight hours talking with witnesses in processing this crime scene where the victim was found on Reading Road. Again, I'm told this morning he is in stable condition here at the UC Medical Center. If you have any information about the shooter, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 513-352-3040. Reporting live, I'm Shannon Kettler, not on your side. Shannon, thank you. An innocent bystander is recovering at the hospital after police say she was shot with an AK-47. Investigators say the woman was sitting on her porch in the 3500 block of Reading Road in Avondale. When she was hit in the knee, police recovered the gun and are now looking for an older model, tan Toyota Camry, believed to be involved in that shooting. A local community is mourning after police say a Marine was murdered by another service member. Investigators say Stephen Coas was shot in the head by a fellow Marine this past weekend in California. Coas graduated from Little Miami High School and he'll be remembered today. Nine on your side, Jason Law picks up the story from here. It's the way Corporal Stephen Coas died that is so disturbing at the hands of a fellow serviceman, according to police. Coas graduated from Little Miami High School in 2006. This weekend, his hometown is making sure he's remembered. You learn to respect the military. You learn to respect the military families. Wanda Crosley created the Wall of Honor eight years ago inside Little Miami High School. She started after her son joined the Army and began serving in Afghanistan. I made this wall about the soldier mm -hmm. and what they did for our community and our United States of America. The wall recognizes Little Miami graduates who have gone on to serve in the military. Friday afternoon, she made a tragic addition, one that comes with a very sad ending. We have been told that it was an accidental shooting. We hope that it was, that it was an accidental shooting because the other Marine that's involved in this, I'm sure that his family is feeling just as much of a loss. Southern California police arrested 22-year-old Brock Myers and charged him with murder. Investigators say the two Marines were in a house Sunday when Coas was shot in the head. Crosley has a message for his family. We wanted to show the parents that we love them and that we are praying for them to get through this. Wanda Crosley says this afternoon a group of supporters will line the streets of Loveland with yellow ribbons and American flags. Visitation for the Marines starts at 3 p.m at the Tufts Schildmeyer Funeral Home in Loveland. Jason Law, not on your side. And today an autopsy will be performed on the couple killed in a fire in their Campbell County home. Firefighters are now saying they did all they could to get Sandy and Bob Duvet out of the home, but the smoke was just too thick. They say the house was engulfed in flames by the time they got there. The couple's grandson did manage to get out of the house by jumping off the second story porch, and neighbors say it was just a terrifying sight. We waited and waited and watched and totally amazed at the first responders and how quickly they were able to get here and all the work that they did to get in. And very sad to hear that they weren't able to make it. The fire marshal now working to determine just how that fire started. A murder suspect in Montgomery County faces more charges after police say he set off a naked jailhouse brawl with an officer. Take a look at this video into our newsroom. Deputies were processing Ryan Mitchell at the county jail when he started banging his head against a window. He was strapped in a restraining chair to calm him down, but as soon as those straps were loosened, he attacked an officer. In addition to that murder charge, Mitchell faces another charge of assault on a police officer. Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine is expected to go home from Christ Hospital today. A spokesperson says he's feeling much better than he did yesterday before he was supposed to give a speech here in Cincinnati. He says he suffered
from vertigo and spent the night at Christ Hospital for observation. Developing now, a veteran LAPD officer is dead after his patrol car collided with a truck in Beverly Hills, California. Medics took a second officer and the truck driver to a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. That accident still under investigation, but police chief there is saying now that the brakes on the truck failed.